Let's go overseas now to Gaza, where there is growing international outrage after more than 100 people were killed when Israeli troops opened fire on civilians gathered around food aid trucks in Gaza City. According to eyewitnesses, many were killed in an ensuing stampede as people ran from the gunfire. CBS Zimtiaz Tayeb reports tonight from Israel. A truck once carrying life-saving aid now piled with the bodies of those who had come in desperation for help. Eyewitnesses told CBS News Israeli forces opened fire as people crowded around the convoy carrying basics like flour. Israel's military released this heavily edited drone video of what it says shows how many were killed in a stampede around the aid trucks. But admitted to shooting at a smaller group of people, which it described as a, quote, imminent threat. How do you define a threat? Anybody approaching the forces, despite being um, warned not to, pose a threat. How do you account for the fact that we have seen people with gunshot wounds to their chest, to their arms? No, I can't confirm that. The injured were rushed to the few functioning hospitals in Gaza City. Doctors told CBS News the majority of the dead were from gunshot wounds. <laughs> Israeli tanks came out and then they opened fire, this man says. This is my brother who went to bring food for his children. This latest violence also led to a grim milestone. The Hamas-run Ministry of Health says more than 30,000 Palestinians, mainly women and children, have been killed since the start of the war between Israel and Hamas. That's about one in 70 people in Gaza, half a million of which are also facing acute starvation, according to the UN, with the Pentagon now actively planning airdrops of aid into Gaza, which can't come soon enough. And tonight, President Biden acknowledged the shootings would complicate the talks, while a Hamas spokesman told CBS News they could not negotiate with Israel while Palestinians were being killed in what he described as cold blood. Nora. MTS Tayab, thank you.